Hi again. Uh, in the last video, um, finding missing angles using inverse trig ratios part one, we solved a few uh, simple questions and one word problem. Let's get started with one uh, another word problem. And this is interesting one. Let's understand it. In this case, um, Elena is standing on top of 50 feet tall building. So the height of the building is given to you as 50 feet. And she is the one who is standing there. And she is looking at her friend, Vanya, who is standing right there on the ground. If Vanya is 30 feet away, the distance from Vanya to the building is 30 feet away. What is the angle of depression from Elena to Vanya? Angle of depression from the top to the bottom. But one important piece of information is this. Elena's eye height is 4.5. So when we are considering the height, the total height, we are not only considering the height of the building, but we also need to take account this height 4.5 which is the eye level of Elena. So in this case the total height would be 50 plus 4.5 and it will be 54.5. Now another information here. Uh, this is the angle, this is line of sight, right? from which uh, the angle of depression is formed. Uh, so this is not, the, um, this is the just uh, imaginary line, right? With which they are just watching. This is the angle of, this is the line of sight, right? Now this line of sight, it is being joined by two horizontal lines, one the ground level and one right here. And these are nothing but parallel to each other. So when the two parallel lines cut by transversal, in this case the transversal is nothing but the, this line of sight. Then the angle of depression right here is nothing but x degree. So we are talking about, in this case, angle of depression is nothing but the x degrees. Keep that thing in mind because they are forming alternate interior angles. Now, line of sight in this case, it is hypotenuse and hypotenuse is not given to us. We are talking about this x degree and we need to find out what is the angle of depression, which is nothing but x degree. This x degree is touching two side lengths of the triangle. One is the line of sight, which is nothing but hypotenuse, and the another is adjacent side. The side which is not touchable, which I can't touch right now, is the opposite side. And the opposite side is the total height that we need to consider. I know there are many things that we need to analyze in this um, question. That's why I take it slow with this one. Let's write the trig ratio because hypotenuse is not there. This which is nothing but hypotenuse. So hypotenuse is not there. I can use only tangent ratio. So tangent x degrees will be equal to opposite over adjacent. And opposite is what? Total height. Total height is right there, 54.5 degrees. So 54 point, not degrees, 54.5 feet divided by adjacent. Adjacent is 30 feet. We have the trick ratio. Now we have to take what? Inverse. So take inverse. Always right. It is just like training your brain. I need to take inverse, I need to find the angle. So when I take inverse, I will just leave x all alone and tangent will move to the other side, but it will turn into tan inverse, tangent inverse or 
arc tangent. So tangent inverse or arc tangent, they are the same thing. Don't get confused. So arc tangent and the ratio is 54.5 over 30. Now let's go on the right hand side, on the left hand side of the screen and plug everything back in the calculator. Shift tangent 54.5 divided by 30. Right? Then press OK. Here we have the answer. X degree, which is nothing but angle of depression, what they are asking for is approximately 61.2 degrees. This is what we are looking for. Stop the video at any time. Pause. Check what is going on. Reread the question and analyze it. Okay, okay. I just solved one word problem for you. I want you to try these two word problems. This is a word problem. This is a simple problem. In this, you have to find out what is X and Y. Right? Uh, how to solve this uh, second problem? Finding the value of X and Y when only one side is given to you and one angle is given to you. They have also mentioned the term solving the right triangle. What does that mean? Let's understand it. Once you understand it, you will be able to solve this problem. Solving the right triangle. When they say to solve a right triangle, it means to find out all the unknown side lengths and angles. That means it can be two sides. You can solve a right triangle when you know either of the following. When either two sides are given to you or one side length and the measurement of one acute angle is given. So that is what is happening in this one. They have given you the measurement of one acute angle right here, which is 41, 90 degrees already there, right? And the one side length is there. Let me solve one question for you and then you can come back and try this question. Okay. This one. Solve the right triangle. They are asking us to round the decimal. Okay. So two sides are given to you. I don't know AB. To find AB, I can use the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem says AC squared should be equal to AB squared plus BC squared. I don't know AB, but AC is 25 degrees. I will write AB squared as it is plus 24 squared. Now I can plug all these values in my calculator and then find it out. 25 times 25 is 625 and AB squared. Let's see what is 24 times 24. 24 times 24 will give you 576. Now you can subtract 576 both sides and if you do that you will get 625 minus 576 is 49. 49 is equal to AB squared. Now to take the exponent out I can take radical because radical and exponent they are the opposite of each other they cancels out. So I have AB which is nothing but 7 in this case. So one thing is done. We got 7. Now what is left? I need to find out angle A and angle C. I can use either of the ratios because all the three sides are given to you. So let's say take sine. Sine A. What is sine A? Opposite over hypotenuse. This is hypotenuse. So 24 over 25. But I need to find angle A. To find angle A, I will take inverse. So measurement of angle A will be nothing but sine inverse of the whole entire 
ratio. Let's find it out. Let's go on the left hand side of the screen. So shift sine inverse, which is 24 divided by 25. And press OK. And I got measurement of angle A approximately 73.7 degrees. Okay, okay. Now I am left with another angle, angle C. I can use any other trig ratio or I can use the principle of that principle of a triangle which says triangle angle sum. That means measurement of angle A plus measurement of angle B plus measurement of angle C should be equal to 180 degrees. Right? That's what the principle says. Let's understand it again. Let's add them. Let me try to move it down. Okay. So if I add everything together, so we have um, 90 degrees as angle B. And then let's erase everything together. Let's rewrite it here. So we have 90 degrees and we just got 73.7 degrees. Right? Let's add them together. If I add them together, I will get 163.7 degrees. And to find angle C, I can just say measurement of angle C is nothing but 180 minus 163.7. And that will give you your lovely answer as 16.3 degrees. That is what we are looking for as the final answer. Now, so we just found out the whole entire uh, triangle, the missing lens and everything. So let's uh, write it down neatly what we got. We got segment length AB as seven units, right? And then we got measurement of angle A as approximately 73.7 degrees. And finally, measurement of angle C, which is 16.3 degrees. That is what we have to find out whenever they say solve the triangle, which is a right triangle. I hope it makes sense and you will be able to solve the two questions that I asked in this video. Bye for now.